Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75270, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Hut. The set came out in the year 2020, comes with 200 pieces, and retailed for $29.99 or $30. And this is actually probably one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets. I really like the sets that kind of have an interior to them, and I really like the design of this, so let's take a closer look. So taking a first glance at the set, you can kind of see the design of it. It's like a small hut, and it comes with four minifigures. And something you might notice off the bat is that there's like this weird white thing in front of the hut. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of a weird thing about this set is it just has like this, it looks like snow almost at the front of the hut. I don't think anybody knows. I've done, done some searching online and people just seem confused about that. But that's something I noticed while taking a look at this set. But yeah, I really do like the first look of it. It does look like a Tatooine hut. So taking a look at the play features of this set, starting off, you can open the roof on the thing by just tilting this up. It's on some hinge pieces and that gets us better access at the interior. So this is what the inside of the hut looks like. The way you kind of open it is you fold these pieces right here out. So they're kind of like hinged and then you fold them out. And it gives you full access to like this interior space. You can kind of have like your minifigures mess around in the middle here, put some there. So you can like kind of have like a bigger space than just like the small interior. When it's folded up, it is very cramped inside. This is what it looks like when it's all folded up. There's not a lot of space to breathe in there. There's lots of things to do inside the hut, though. You can put your minifigures in a bunch of different seats. Like, over here in this corner, there is a seat. And I think Obi-Wan is supposed to sit in here. It's kind of hard to get your hands in there. Even with, like, the roof open, it's still kind of difficult to get your minifigures seated. And then over here, you can put Luke. So then you can kind of have a scene. And then this is the Princess Leia hologram. We'll look closer at that in the minifigure section. And then you can also have, like, here. the other minifigure in the set is Tusken Raider. So you can have, I guess, this is not very accurate, but you could have him sit over here at the table. And there's some blue milk on the table, which is a nice reference to, I think Luke is always drinking blue milk. And that's like some meme or something, I'm not sure, but it's a nice reference to that. And then over here in this section, we have some shells with some various items. And then there's like a stick. This is for a robot, which we'll look at closer in the minifigure section as well. There's a lot of like minifigure type things in the set. It's kind of crazy. And then over here, there is a box. Inside of this box, there are a couple different things. So you open it, and there is the droid head, which we will look at later. Then there is a lightsaber for Luke to use later when he becomes a Jedi. Some other details in the hut, or around the hut, are there is a gaffy stick on the wall there. I think that's what that's called. It's like the stick the Tusken Raiders use. Yeah, I think it's called a gaffy stick. And then on the outside, or first there's like this weird staff thing here with like a telescope piece on the end. I think that's like a staff Obi-Wan uses. And then on the outside, there is a box with nothing in it, fortunately. I kind of wish, it's kind of weird how LEGO just puts boxes with nothing in them around. And there's a control panel piece, and there is like a smokestack thing or like a chimney, which is kind of cool. There's another one over here, and there's the soup can in the front, so like Obi-Wan can cook his soup, which is kind of nice. So yeah, there's some nice details on this set. Taking a look at minifigures in this set, starting off we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Old Ben Kenobi is probably what he's called on the box because this is the older version of him. And he is not very detailed on the front, he just kind of has like that robe piece with no printed legs. But he has a nice face print, I think it has a double-sided face. Nope, actually it probably doesn't because his beard would be kind of showing in the back because he has that like big beard on the side. And I really do like that, it's nice detail. A funny thing about this minifigure though is that he includes a lightsaber. And there is another light lightsaber inside of this like chest thing. So like, and in the movie, there's only one lightsaber that they just share. Like he gives his lightsaber to Luke, which is kind of interesting because like Lego included too, which is nice, but not very accurate. Next up, we have Luke Skywalker. And I really like this minifigure. I did not have like a Luke Skywalker in a traditional Tatooine outfit before I had this set. So I really did enjoy this. It has a lot of detailed printing, like his legs are actually printed and his torso is printed. Very accurate minifigure. I really like the back printing as well with the belt. He comes with some standard binoculars, which is nothing too special, but it makes sense for like the scene he's in because he's kind of like always looking off into the distance, if you know what I mean. And then he has a double-sided face, which is just him smiling, which is really nice. I really do like this minifigure. I'm not sure if it's exclusive. It might have been used in that sand crawler set a couple years back, but I really do like the detail on this minifigure. Next, we have R2-D2, and he is just the normal R2-D2. He does have, like, the smaller, like, projection unit on his face, which is something sometimes, like, R2-D2s will have different sized ones. I noticed that with, like, the X-Wing set. That one had, like, a different size one. It might be a printing defect by LEGO, but I'm not sure. He doesn't have any back printing. I think this was way before LEGO was doing that. Yep, just normal white. And his head is kind of, like, misprinted. Like, it's not straight on the line. You can kind of see it's higher up the... I don't know. LEGO has trouble printing on astromech dome pieces. I don't know why, but it's never straight. 
kind of unfortunate, but it is a nice normal R2-D2. Finally, we have the Tusken Raider minifigure, which is just a normal Tusken Raider. I don't think there's anything exclusive about him. It is the newer design, which is nice with that really unique mold piece or the head mold. I really do like it. It has a lot of detail and it's like, I like the spikes on it. Really detailed. And then he has torso and leg printing, which look really nice. It has like the robe and the belt. And on the back, he has a belt as well, which is really nice. And it comes with another gaffy stick. There's a lot of like multiple weapons in this set. You really do. If you're into Lego weapons, this is the set for you. Now taking a look at the minifigure like objects, and this is the Princess Leia hologram, which looks really nice, has like the hood on it, hood design, and you can, if you look really closely, you can kind of see like the detail of the minifigure hands and just like her robe and stuff. So I really like this, it's super detailed. It doesn't have any printing, but it really does get the job done. I think it's exclusive as well, so great job Lego. You didn't have to include this, but it really does look good. Next we have the practice droid, which Luke Skywalker uses to like practice his lightsaber skills on the Millennium Falcon. And it is included in the set, which is really nice, and I think it is like stored in the hut really creatively with this being this piece being on the wall, this being on like a shelf, and then this being in a box. And then you put it together by I think putting this on the top or yeah, on like the bottom of it, like where the minifigure head would go in, because this is just a minifigure headpiece. Then you slide it on this, and then you kind of have like the droid. Then you can put Luke Skywalker next to it and have him kind of like train. So super nice inclusion. They didn't have to include this, but like another printed piece. It's really nice. I'm impressed with Lego. This is why I like this set so much. There are only two printed pieces on the whole set and there are no stickers, but one of the printed pieces is exclusive, which I think is super cool. And that is like the droid training head thing. This is an exclusive print. It is kind of a minifigure head. So that's like kind of a normal mold or print Lego does, but it is really nice to have it included. And then there's also a control panel print on the back door, which is really nice. I don't think it's exclusive. I think it's been in a bunch of other Lego sets, but it is a newer design and it has some nice numbers on it. And I think it fits with the hut really well. I've kind of stopped talking about this in my Lego videos, but I wanted to re-talk about it here in this video because it is a big problem with this set and that is weak parts. One of them is this pot piece in the front. Whenever you move it, it just dumps because the way they have this like green effect in it for the soup is there's two of these stud pieces, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Why didn't Lego just put like another green stud underneath to make it one piece, but they're not connected at all and they just fall out all the time and it's super annoying. And another weak part is this top like chimney piece or smokestack comes off all the time if you bump it. Like, I mean, if you're not bumping your Lego sets, it's not a problem, but I like to mess with mine and kind of play with them sometimes and set them up and it can be really annoying for storage. So. There are two weak parts in this set, and one of them is just like, if you tip it over, they're gone, and you have to find them, so it can be kind of annoying. Now time to talk value for money, and I feel like this set is a great value for money. I feel like you get a really good build, especially for just $30. You get a lot of space and some really good minifigures, in my opinion. I know, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi isn't very detailed, and R2-D2 and the Tusken Raider we've gotten before, but I feel like they're all really accurate, and I really like the Luke Skywalker minifigure. Like, I care about exclusive... Excl blah, 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 blah exclusivity that's a hard word to say but i do care about that but i feel like these um these minifigures really do fit the scene well and it's a great minifigure selection from lego and i really do like the exclusive pieces like the princess leia hologram mold and like the fighting droid practice thing that luke skywalker uses and i i really do like those so i feel like the set is really good value for money even though like the price per piece is like 200 for 30 dollars. that's not great that's actually kind of terrible yeah, it's like 13 cents per piece. Not very good, but you do get a bigger piece as the dome. And I mean, I do feel like the set is worth it. So yeah, pretty good value for money. So overall, I feel like this set is a nine out of 10. It's one of my favorite Lego sets, but like I can't ha have that impact my rating. I mean, I usually rate my Lego sets pretty highly, but I do feel like where it kind of lets me down a little bit is with the loose parts. And that's basically it because it's a really good set. It's just for some people, loose parts can be very annoying. And that would be me. And I also don't really understand the white thing kind of like takes away from the look. Like why is there just snow at the front of it? That doesn't make any sense. Definitely not accurate, but I do feel like everything else in this set is strong. It has great minifigures, great play features, and some like great interior space. I'm, I'm a sucker for interior space. I really like sets with that. And this is also in my Tatooine mock and it fit really well. If you want to see that video, I'll have a card pop up. But anyway, I feel like it's a nine out of 10 set. I would definitely recommend it, but it is very expensive nowadays because it is a retired set. So there you have it guys, that's my review of set number 75270, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Tut. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.